or whatever you want to call it, the blogs, mm-hmm. kind of like bashing her because she's 40 and the guy, the, the, the kid is 21. Mm-hmm. So um, Joe Budden, um, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't like it, right? So he, he went bunkers on, on his show. And Melissa Ford is one of her hosts, one and of his he, hosts. Why he didn't like? So that's what I'm going to get into right now. Um, he's saying that she's, she's grooming him, meaning like she's taking advantage of him because he's a lot younger and she's a lot older. And, you know, the kid is only 21. And now that she's pregnant, it's that, you know, that's like security, you know? Mm-hmm. So I can kind of play a little snippet. I'm not going to play everything. So we can kind of get his perspective in, and then I want to get you guys' perspective on it. Okay. All right? Okay. I don't remember. Big Mel? Yes. You asked... The floor is yours. We didn't go no, no. Oh, good. Go ahead, man. Mel, Ish asked earlier, is that considered grooming? Oh, my God. You are an ear hustler. No, I'm just saying we was right here. <laughs> Why you been insulting me lately? I'm not. I'm you let, called I, yourself an ear hustler. I'm going to let it slide. Be- all right. <laughs> Get to it. Come on, Mel. Do you all think it's grooming? Mel. I know. Yes. <laughs> Please don't do that right now. Okay. Don't ask us anything. Mm-hmm. We hire. We, this is why you're hired, so we can shut up during topics like this. Yes. The floor <laughs> is yours to say anything that you think needs to be said on a platform this large about a matter this large. Mm, is it okay? Um, it's speculation right now. She was wearing overalls. Everybody's in a tizzy. We don't know anything. So. Tizzy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, this is a tizzy. Okay. okay. This is tizzy. Everyone's talking about it mm-hmm. and whatnot. Um, what do you think about all of it? Fucking everyone's talking about it. <laughs> nigga, we here. This prime time. Lights is on. Bright lights. Playoff time. Everyone's talking. Uh, everybody. Is it grooming? We're speculating. How much? What's his contract? Oh shit! Oh. I'm, I'm asking he's for. Gonna be, I'm asking he, in for a few reason. years, he'll be making three hundred million. Okay, so he'll, he's gonna max out. He's gonna be one of the max guys. Okay. And so, in no way, shape, or form, do you guys think that he has any choice in who he dates, who he fucks, who he has babies with? Yes, yes he we does. do. Now, yeah, what do you think about everything? Okay, well, then that's that's really it. This is a this is a man making a choice to be with the woman he wants to be with. We're not talking about his choices as a 21-year-old whose brain is not fully developed. We're <laughs> talking about Drea in her 40s having a baby by the young man whose brain is not developed. Do you have a unique take on this or do you just want to meander? Because if that's the case, then I'll act like a woman and start talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come help you, bitch. Yeah, we're <laughs> she, all of that. Tell us, speak up. You, you don't have to always try to gain woman audience. What? So if your son was 21 years old and a woman your age was dating your son and got pregnant by your soon to be super wealthy son, what would your thank, response be? Now that is a good way to pose a fucking question. Okay, good. Because okay. literally just okay. leaving it open he posed, to he posed like it. whatever. He posed it. Get I as his mother, hell no, fuck no. Why is that? Why? Because it looks, smells like a duck. No, no. I'm not, I'm not trusting the situation. I'm not trusting her intentions. I'm not. Okay. I'm, abso- I'm absolutely going to want to guard my, protect my son from him, fuck, from his, from himself. Got it. That's what I'm going to try to do as his mother. But am I going to be successful? He's a grown ass man. He could do whatever he fucking wants. And he's going to do whatever he wants. I can't control him, but I'm not going to like it if I'm his mother. So due to the fact that we speak on when men do it, we consider it grooming. Now that's now that is I think reverse. that and also, yeah. I'll, 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 Let's I'll, have this talk without her because she's about to piss me off. But I'll also say that I don't like the term gr- grooming being thrown around so often. Really? Yeah. When because did you of say, what? Because when did you of what say it, that? Huh? When did you come up with? I didn't, I'm just I, I'm saying it now. <laughs> yeah, let's have this talk without her, please. <laughs> Gentlemen. What the fuck? Wait, am I in the talk? Okay, I'm going to stop you there, right? Because, you know, it's like a 10-minute thing. But, right? You kind of get the premises, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. what do you, from a woman perspective and from, from there, we can talk about our perspective, how we feel about it, right? So, from your, because Melissa Ford, she's, uh, she's on a show, on the Joe Biden show. Mm-hmm. And she's one of the hosts or whatever. Um, so, they wanted to get, uh, get her perspective since she's a woman. Mm-hmm. As she can relate to you know, I, well, at least understand from a mother perspective, how would you feel, you know, if that was your son? Mm-hmm. So how would you feel about that? Um, yeah, I, I think, and, and I think like the way that the questions were posed, I agree with her. Like it's much easier to answer, at least for me as well. It's much easier for me to answer a question like that when it's like, oh, if it was your child, mm-hmm. 
versus answering the question if it was um you know versus answering the question of like oh drea and her situation you know so um if it was yeah if it was my child i agree with her, her with her response in that like if someone twice you know the same twice the age and also if like like my child just turned 21 right you just three years ago just a couple years ago were barely um legal right um you're super super young and now you and my son specifically now you're looking to um you found a woman and she's like 50 40s 50s and like to me i i also would kind of be very wary of um especially if my son has a lot of money or is coming into a lot of money in terms of what, you know, what are her intentions? Um, and also like how early, when did you guys start talking? Right. Was this something where you guys were talking and knew each other before he was 18? Right. When he was still like a teenager, when he was a child, or is this something that like recently happened after he was a phone blown adult? Right. Because that response in itself, like if she was around and they were hanging out and friends and this and that when she was when when he was like 16, 15, like I, you know, to me, it's like, OK, from that, that's not that's a, even more of it not being OK. Mm. So I definitely think um, the intention part of like, what are what are your intentions with her? Um, and, or what are, what's, uh, her intentions with him, um, especially with that huge, 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 like age gap. Um, Mm. and the only reason I'm thinking about it that way is because if it was the other way around, like if it was a man that was close to his fifties or, you know, in his forties and my daughter just turned 21 and is like super young, I would, you know, definitely feel very concerned like was he around you when you were a child you know um but i i aside from that like say her intentions were are are good right because i don't know there are people who are in relationships that have crazy age gaps right um and they've been able to have successful relationships with those age uh, age gaps um i think in society it's more acceptable when you're older so like let's if you're like you're full you're he mentioned like okay your brain fully developed which i think it's like what mid to late 20s they say that you're fully your brain is fully developed and stuff like that yeah. but like let's say you you're 30 and then you meet someone that's in their you know that's 45 right or that's 50 like that happens all the time and that may not be as demonizing um i think in society than if you're early 20s or just you just made it to the 20s you know because also, the other thing is, I feel like a young man in his early 20s, like, you're in a different space in life, mm-hmm. I think, than being, than, than a woman in her 40s, you yeah. know? And, like, as a young man in his 20s, like, have you had the chance to be a young person, get to know who you are, get to know yourself, right? Um, and and, and I, I, it's hard to, it's hard I want to I want to follow up on this and then, you know, keep watching this. And, and um, to me, it's hard for someone who's in their a, a guy, a young man who's in their early, early 20s to then settle down and and be in the same space and be ready for the same things as a woman that's in her 40s. I think it's hard. Um, go ahead. Um, I mean, I agree with a lot of stuff you say, but the thing is, at the end of the day, how many mans did we see doing this? Did we blame them? Mm-hmm. How many even like basketball, soccer player mm-hmm. be going like they 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 in retirement like like they retired yeah. they in mm-hmm. retirement mm-hmm. and like they go like they going out or they're married to like sugar babies exactly women that like have like twenty five mm-hmm. something they they are like forty five fifty some for some of them mm-hmm. we never say nobody nobody ain't saying nothing so you're saying like there's guys that's like older older mm-hmm. men are dating women that are younger than them that people don't say nothing about that yeah it's I think people say more about that I think well 25 I think is different than like say like and also 21 is kind of like that crust like that the edge but let's say like someone who's like 20 for example right mm-hmm. I feel like people demonize like if an old old man is talking to someone who's like 20 because yeah. then there's more speculation of like um, were you talking to her when she was 17 yeah, or 18 yeah, 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 you but, know yeah yeah okay but I don't I don't feel like 
I mean, I feel like when it's a woman, like it's tra- like because it it happened like more often when it's a man. Yeah. yeah. Cuz men usually date younger. Exactly. And when it's a when it's a woman, I feel like bro, we we really like we really hard on them. You never mm. know cuz you you can never you, know. You feel like we're harder than oh, harder on women than we are on men. Yeah. yeah. Or, or about that topic? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like no. I don't I don't think. You know, so. we harder on no, we harder, harder on, on men. No, he's saying women. Harder, we harder on women. Yeah, we harder like a woman that will date a young a young boy mm-hmm. is more like demonized than a. Uh, you think so? Yeah, bro. No, so you think so too? Definitely. No, I I just said that I think when it's a man that's dating like a a younger girl, I think that I think it happens more often, maybe right? But I think it's it may be demonized more because it may be like, oh, he's a pedophile. Why are you looking about that that girl or why are you? You know, talking. Bro, I feel like I feel like they'd be exposing them the, themselves with no like no issue. But mm-hmm. when you see what like women, they don't they, they're not gonna go out with their like. It's rare to see like a woman that's gonna go out and come out like walking outside mm-hmm. with a young guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they be hiding most of the time. They be hiding. Like they be hiding it. Are you saying that okay? Well, society hides it. Like you see it more often, older men, younger women than. That much older women, younger men, they appeared more as like cougarish. Yeah, yeah. Me, I think. Well, maybe, maybe a cu- culture. Oh, I don't know in like France, like in Europe, how like it's looked at. But over here, um, if an older man end up dating a younger woman, like there's people talk talk about that. They look at him like, oh, you, you either be like a a, a yeah. creep. Mm-hmm. Or, some people might even say I don't even want to use the other word, but you know they will look at you. They will look at you weird. Okay, mm-hmm. right? It's it's they don't respect it. But you and know, what I, age are we talking about? Like this, like this amount yeah. of gap. Okay, like, you know, like early early twenties. Yeah, before like, twenty five, like, like twenty one. If you're grown, 20. you're grown. But like this yeah. is it's a big gap, right? So he's twenty one. She's like thirty nine, almost forty. That's like eighteen years of, of a gap, right? When he turn turns thirty, he's gonna turn. I mean, she's going to turn, what, 50. Mm-hmm. When he's 40, she's going to be 60. Mm-hmm. You see that? Like, you know? And he's 21. So he's not about to stay. It's not, they're not even married. I think they're just together. Mm-hmm. Right? And we don't know the status, their status, right? But we, mm-hmm. we see them, we, we saw them together, whatever, there's pictures. And the whole thing is, in this situation, like you said, hell no. Let me actually, give me a second. I'm going to put my fuck no head on. So this me right here, hell no. Like, as whether, because you say if that was your son, you would say no. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that too. And if it's my son or not, I'm still going to say no. Because it looked like it looked like it's a money grab. Mm-hmm. Like the guy said he's going to, he's eventually he's going to sign a max deal that's going to pay him a lot. Mm-hmm. And if she's pregnant with his baby, things don't work out, she's, she's going to get paid. Mm-hmm. Regardless, yeah. and you know they're not gonna, they're not about to get married and stay together forever. He's mm-hmm. 21. He's gonna go out there and explore. He's in the NBA. Mm-hmm. He's gonna see more things. He's just young. His brain is not fully developed. Mm-hmm. You know. So I agree with Joe Budden on that. And my thing is right with Melissa Ford. It's like why are you going around a bush? If it's wrong, it's wrong. Mm-hmm. If you don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. But when the guy gave you an example, if that was your son, automatically she said, "Hell no, it's mm-hmm. not. It's not happening." So, but you should, don't demonize it when it's only about your son. When it made it personal, you demonize it. Because you mm-hmm. know it's not right. Right? Because he said grooming. Oh, I don't like using that word grooming. It's not, like the point is, you focusing on the word. We're talking about the action. Mm-hmm. Her action. From straight from the gate, you should be like, that's wrong. If that's how you feel. Mm-hmm. But if that was a man, her response would have been quick. Mm-hmm. Right? So I feel like, as Women also, they got a responsibility when it comes to stuff like this. You can't play, you can't bash one side and not bash the other side. You got to be on both sides. If you feel like men that are older, dating younger women are creeps or like that's wrong, it should be the same way when it comes to women. But she doesn't want to, she's going around the bush. That's why Joe Budden was kind of like frustrated. We're going to, you know, remove her out of this conversation Mm -hmm. because she's not trying, she's not being straightforward. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's a money grab and I think no mother should let their son like that's that's an NBA that's about to make a lot of money date a woman that's almost her mother age yeah that makes sense and the thing is for me it's less of like 
the age difference for me it's how early, how young he is because like people let's say somebody who is is in their 40s meet someone that's 60 right it is what it is. Yeah, you are 40, yeah. right? You're a full-blown adult. You're yeah. able to make that decision for yourself. That can be your love. Like that, you know, it could be true love. It can be whatever the case may be. You guys are probably in the same, like, mindset in terms of what you're looking for. Same as if you're 30, right? If mm-hmm. you're 30 and then you're, the, you know, your significant other is, like, 45, 40, you know, getting close to 50. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I'm less judgmental of, um, it, it's not necessarily the age gap. It's mainly, like, um, because anyone can decide for themselves, this person makes me happy, even though they're this age, right? Um, some people are could be twenty years older, but like they don't say stay active. They have a very old mentality, yeah. a, a mindset. They of haven't course. adapted to the times and stuff like that, and they feel yeah. like okay, I'm talking to my grandparents or my parents. Versus someone can be also of that age and be very like kind of use like um your maturity and them like you you mesh well um or better with that person than you do people or other people that you've met around your own age right and that person you might feel is for you so for me it's just how young are you when you're making this decision and then the other person realizing like how young that person is and are they like is this truly what they want or is it all about Oh, you know, it's because I look nice and this and that. And so, you know, he's just willing to mess around because he's willing to mess around in general. He's in that space in general. And and the reason why it looks so bad, right? Because like, okay, we know, you know, like we know, we know the history. We know like the, 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 the long line of history of older men, um, trying to get a younger woman. We know that. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, even African culture, they, they they do it right. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's normalized, right? Mm-hmm. And but and for women, it's usually younger women that's trying to holler older men for money, whatever you know, mm-hmm. and sugar daddy, whatever they're looking for. Mm-hmm. But in this case, it's like you're older and you're looking for a younger man, a, a, a young boy, I should say, a young adult. I don't really, I don't really hear about that, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. But it just look weird because most of the time when you talk to mature women, they'll usually say, I don't want a little boy. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. They're like, I want I want a grown man. I want an adult, full beard, like muscle, like grown man. Mm-hmm. That's around my age. I'm not looking for no little boy. You're not ready. Mm-hmm. So I think majority of the women know that, ex- except for the ones that are younger that's looking for sugar daddies. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying the ones that are in their 30s and 40 don't look for sugar daddy for money. But I'm just saying in general, if they got the, you know, situation right they're not looking for no young man because they know most of the time he just want to play he's not going to stay whatever they're and not in the, the same time. space yeah, yeah same, like, same, same mindset like, right mindset. so to me looking at it like that you're a basketball wife so you, you've been married to a basketball player before yeah. obviously we know what that come with mm-hmm. right they're successful so he's a young man you know if you feel like you don't want to be with you no more then your way of you know of getting back at him is Okay, I'm pregnant with your son or your daughter. Then we're going to court. You're gonna to have to pay me. So at that point, was it love at all? Did you even love him, or was it like, I'm gonna set myself up with this young man, get pregnant, and then if things go sour or left, I'm gonna get paid off. Yes. Yeah. Unveil my set.